Hello friends, this video on reproduction in plants part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Topics to be covered in this lesson are Introduction, Reproduction, Asexual Reproduction wherein we'll discuss about budding, fission, fragmentation, regeneration, Sexual Reproduction wherein we'll discuss about pollination, fertilization and seed dispersion. So what is reproduction? The word reproduction, what does it mean? Re means anything which is happening again. Like, uh, let me give you some examples. Rewind. So that means when you try to repeat something. So in fact, in repeat also you have repeat. Correct? Again, you say reinstall. So when you are installing something again, reappear, something appearing again. So reproduction, production that is from the word produce. So to produce something again, that is reproduction. So it is the process by which living organisms produce new organisms similar to themselves. This is very interesting. Now, have you seen that we all look very similar to our parents? Some of us have more similarity to our moms. Some of us have more similarities to our dads. We even look similar to our siblings. So it, it is like the children, they have certain similarities with their parents. Again, the same children, they give birth to their kids and they look similar to them. So this entire process where living organisms produce new organisms. So producing children, so children are basically new organisms which are being produced by the existing organisms similar to themselves. Now. For many living organisms, the uh, offsprings or the individuals which are produced, the children, they are exactly identical to their parents. But for a lot of other living organisms, the children are not exactly identical, but yes, they do have similarity to their parents. So if you take example of human beings, I mean, not all of us look exactly identical to our parents. In fact, most of us do not look exact identical of our parents. So we have similarity some of our hair color might be similar to our uh, father some of our uh, eye color might be similar to our mom so that way we might have certain similarities but we are not exactly identical you take example of any living organism think of elephant so the kid of an elephant will look similar to an elephant and it will not look similar to uh, a human being similarly a human baby will have similarities to human beings and not to any other animal so you think of any animal so you see in each of these animals their children look similar to themselves so a giraffe would look like a giraffe similarly a fish would look like a fish elephant would look like an elephant so each of these organisms they produce new organisms and these new organisms are similar to them so that is all about reproduction now you might think that why is reproduction necessary why at all do we need to produce new organisms? Now, this is very important. You know why? First of all, to retain a particular species of living organisms. Now, what do we mean by that? So, let's think of a very simple example. Let's consider the example of human beings. We all are surviving, right? But do you think that any one of us is going to survive throughout so are we going to survive for indefinite period of time? Not really. We will survive for a certain period of time. So all human beings, not only human beings, all living beings, they take birth, they live their life, they grow. So first they are like infants, then they grow to become a child, then they grow to become an adult, then they grow become a very old person. And finally what happens? Finally the person dies so death right so basically when new organisms are born so we feel that okay a lot of organisms are there but gradually these organisms are going to die one day correct now if there is no reproduction if no new organisms are being born what will happen after a period of time after a certain period of time that entire group of living organisms would become extinct so if you take the example of human beings, if 
all human beings on this earth stop reproducing if there is no reproduction in human beings what will happen no new human beings will be formed so whatever number of human beings are existing today even if there exists millions and billions of human beings but one day all of them will die right so after that day what will happen not a single human being will be left on the earth so that means the entire species of human beings will be lost so reproduction is very important to retain a particular species of living organism so this example holds true not only for human beings but for all living organisms so in order to retain any species it is important that they should reproduce transmission of characters from one generation to the next now just now we were telling that we all have similarities to our parents so not only parents you would have noticed that we even have similarities with our grandparents so it is because of the process of reproduction that the characteristics the traits they are being carried from one generation to the next generation now in many families you will see that the, the grandfather he has curly hair his son that is the father also has curly hair the son also has curly hair and even his son has curly hair so curly hair is a trait is a character which is being carried from one generation to the next generation and why is that possible that is possible because of reproduction so it is since the process of reproduction takes place that is why there exists this concept of this this entire process of transmission of characters from one generation to the next this is what we call as inheritance and inheritance exists due to reproduction now not only living organisms when when i say living organisms it is not only the animals which i'm talking about it is also the plants even plants reproduce because uh, you see the same concept holds true for plants also if they do not reproduce a particular type of plant would become extinct after a couple of years because the plants also have a specific period of longevity it is not that they remain alive for indefinite period of time so they also have certain longevity so after that they might die so reproduction is important for all living organisms including all animals and all plants but the way they reproduce might be very different from one another so the way plants reproduce or the way animals reproduce not only animals even in animals different animals can reproduce in different ways so in this lesson we are going to spend considerable amount of time looking at what are the various ways by which different living organisms can reproduce thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience please do not forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you once again